Hey, what's up? It's Panzer Kunz here, back with the World of Warplanes. And I'm just going to go straight into the replay on this one. I had a game with a, a B-29 a few weeks ago, but with that recent patch, I, I couldn't access it anymore. So I was just waiting until I ran into another one. And luckily, I had another game with one, but I wasn't excited to see that there were two specialized tier 8s in, in a flight, a B-29C on the IL-20. So right away, I knew that I was going to have a hard time with either of them. And I was hoping that it would be, I, I can try to get the bomber a little bit to have something to show for a video. And luckily, I was. So it's at the beginning of the game. And sure enough, they got their, their mining plan already. And they're making their way for ours. We only need 20 left on uh, this uh, command center. And instead of trying to get some of the aircraft, I see there's a AA gun right here. And you see the IL-20 coming in. I want to get it right before he does. I fire out my rockets. I secure it. I make a flyby. I see he's going right at me. And then I was immediately looking for the bomber. And he's right up top, already heading toward ours. And to my to my luck, he's about half half his HP has gone already. But the thing that that kind of sucks about it is it's best if you're already at altitude. Because look how much of, a, of my boost I need to burn just to get up there. I put the boost cooler on, but I don't. I just don't have enough speed to make the quick exit that I really want to, or to get away. It's best to have some boost when you get away, so you take less damage. So you see, I'm coming up, I'm flanking him on the side. You never want to go behind him. And you want to come in at an angle and fly through him. And because uh, he hasn't really, I, I haven't seen him in the battle yet, he's, he's really focused on his, his, his route and how he's going to bomb the mining plant. Not so much any enemy aircraft so I come in I make a little turn there and I am in his range a little bit but not for too long and one thing I wanted to show uh, I might get a good view here okay you see how there's there's two uh, there's two turrets in the bottom each one of those has two 50 cows and the one on the top, you see the one sticking up, the turret on the top has 250 cals. And the turret in the front top has four. So the bottom each have two. The dorsal back there has two. But the one up front, the turret on the top, has 450 cals. So that's the one you want to avoid. So when I make my, my swooping attack this way, I try not to get above the level of the, of the bomber. You want to stay even because each... Each turret only has five, the bottom only has five degrees of elevation. So it can't really fire upward. The top turret only has five degrees of depression. So if you kind of, if you're flying exactly level with the BF20, with the B29, it can't really hit you. And if you need to shade toward an area, shade toward the bottom, because you could only have two, um, 250 cows hitting you versus in the top, you could have four to six. So that's one tip right there. And see, as I'm getting away, I get a little too high, and he starts pummeling me, and then I dive down a little bit. I want to stay in that sweet spot, and I only got minimal damage. He didn't crit me. So to make my second attack, and now he's fully aware of me. I come up, and I'm going to make a, a high deflection attack, but I want to try to maximize the time that I do hit him. I don't want to do like a, a, a just a quick slash. I want to do like a soft slash. And also, the B-29C is so big. I mean, how could you miss? So this is definitely a better approach angle. I start firing. I lead. I have nice deflection there. And I'm able to take him out pretty easily there. Not much there. And the biggest advantage I had there was he wasn't expecting me. And then I come down and I see his, his uh, platoon mate here, or flight mate. And I'm able to get him with his rockets. You see how I nudged the plane a little bit to the right? Just to make sure that I had enough... I get enough lead with the rockets. So I eliminated the two main threats in this game. And I feel pretty good about that. And then uh, once they respawn, I'm not just going to let him go to our base and just bomb it and capture it in one run. Some people think that's headhunting, but why would I let the most dangerous bomber just go and bomb my base again? That's the way to win. You have to attack them. I'm not just, if it was any bomber, no matter what it was player, I would go after it. So, but he's pretty smart because as you can see, 
he's going along the edge of the map. He's not flying in the center. He's trying to sneak around to the side. And now he's fully aware that uh, I'm coming for him. So if you notice this time, he starts firing at me a lot earlier. And I'm doing the same thing as before. But this time I make a mistake and I get I get too far behind, as you'll see. It's a poor attack run. This is pretty good. And I just I just should have kept this that soft angle, but I I turned kind of into him. And that's where I kind of messed up. And let's see, I have 300 HP and he has 2300. Let's see how much how much I can take out take away from him. See, I'm going at him to the side. That's pretty good. But I'm not getting my guns on him for the longest time that I can. And I flew right to his tail gunner. And I don't know if you can see. Yeah, see the bottom ones each have two and the top one has four. So I had 300, so I lost about I lost about 100 HP. He had 23, he's at 2100. So I traded 100 of my HP for 200 of his, which is not an even trade. And you see, I'm not, I try to stay level, but I guess I'm just, I'm further, I'm far away now where that the top turret could hit me. And he crits both of my engines. And now I'm pretty much out of range. You're out of range around 900. So keep that in mind. Uh, I think the 50 cows have around 700 meter range. So once you hit about 900, you're pretty safe. But just because of the volume of fire, it, every little every little bullet that hits you has a chance to crit you. And that's exactly what happened to me there. I got two crits on my engine. So it's not looking good. But I know that his engines are out too. So he's pretty much a sitting duck. And I'm calling bots on him. And luckily this fighter is able to do a lot of damage to me. And he's not even damaging the fighter. If I was in that fighter, I would be dead already. So I don't know why the, he's not really firing at it. But my guess is he's aiming his turrets because he knows I'm coming back. Otherwise, that tier 9 fighter would have been evaporated. So I'm coming into the angle. See, about seven, 600, he starts hitting me. And that's because his turrets take like four seconds to aim in. So if you can keep the speed up the, throughout the whole time and if you can come in at a high angle of attack it's you have a few seconds of of kind of like the in-between time where you can really get in and i'm able to do that here and you see how i know i'm, I'm pretty much dying so i lead my rockets ahead of him so he, so i can get him if i if i would have fired my rockets here they would have fell behind but i give my rockets lead i fire them he gets me here but I get him too. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. And as you saw, I defended our mining plan. Two times he tried to already, and he didn't. So that's basically a, a waste on his bombs. And coming back, I know that uh, since we captured their mining plan, the easiest thing for him to do is to go after, go after that mining plan. Why would he fly to the other side of the map? And I know that the bomber can get, can capture it in one pass if he makes a, a well enough pass. But as I get closer, I'm kind of pretending that I'm going after him. I want his attention to be on me versus his bomb drop. And there's times in, and there's like the yin and the yang, right? There's time to attack and there's time to not to attack. So this is one of the times where I wouldn't. His bombs mean nothing if I kill other things in the area. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm pretending to attack him, but I'm actually go after, going to go after this bomber. So he just got uh, he just got a 50 point ground target. By doing that, I pretty much erased it. He can he can still hit me a little bit, but I pretty much negated one of the ground targets that he hit, and that's pretty much the best way that I can see it. Come in at an angle of attack. Stay level when you're on your way out and try to have enough boost when you go in and out. If you have an aircraft that has rockets, use them to finish them off. Don't use the rockets at the beginning because they'll do minimal damage. And trust me, you need that damage at the end of your attack, just like I showed there. I wouldn't ever fire my rockets at a full health B-29. I would wait for them to be the finishing blow because you never know how many are going to hit. And that could be the difference there. And pretty much you're going to need a tier 8 or tier 9 heavy fighter. Uh, to take one of these out. Uh, if anything, 
a tier eight multi role or fighter, you can't really ever be the aggressor to go after it. You need it to be low on health or something else needs to be shooting it already where its turrets are firing at something else. So that was my little thing of how to take out the B-29. You have to have speed. You have to have a good angle. Preferably have rockets. And uh, on your way out, stay level or just below the bomber and you won't be taking too many shots. So that's it for this one. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.